Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video. It's Joy. Um, but I did want to come on and make a video today about how having a planner has really helped my anxiety. Um, I have a planner um, that I got from Five Below that is really good and really inexpensive. Um, and what I like about it is that you can, I'll try to insert pictures of my planner. Um, but the first part of the planner is just um, a month view. Um, the squares are very small, but you can look at the month. And then on the uh, on the adjacent page, you can uh, write out your priorities, notes, list, and plans for the next month. Um, so you kind of can get this month at a glance, which I really like. Because on that page where the month is, I put, um, I track my paydays and on the other one i write list out all my bills for that month the due dates and the bill amount um and then anything special birthdays i put on that page now after you get through those 12 pages from all the months of the year then it goes through each month week by week each week um you see monday through sunday and you have a rectangular box where you can write in what you need to do each day. Um, and I have found this very helpful in that, um, one, I am a procrastinator. I don't necessarily want to give up being a procrastinator. However, in the last year or two, the older I get, the more responsibilities I have. I notice that um, sometimes it gives me really bad anxiety. Also, because uh, when I begin being productive, I also start thinking of a million other things I need to do slash want to do that might not be important. But as soon as I think of something I need to do, I kind of start working on it immediately so I don't forget or I'm like, oh, I need to do that or oh, I keep forgetting to do that. So I'll start a lot of different tasks. Um, back to back, like. I'm working on one thing, then I'm working on the next, then I'm working on that. Now, I'm super, super stressed because now I have all these unfinished tasks. So now I'm super anxious because I'm like, now I have a lot to do. Where at the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go clean downstairs. So I start cleaning. While I'm cleaning, I'm like, oh, I want to reorganize the kitchen cabinets. So I start re reorganizing the kitchen cabinets. Then I see a piece of mail and I'm like, oh, I need to call this this company so then i call this company i still haven't cleaned downstairs i have stuff pulled out from the cabinets from the kitchen now and now i'm on hold for an hour and a half and my day is kind of out of whack and i found myself doing this repetitively um and i know i'm not an anxious person person naturally so i would always be thinking like why do i keep doing this to myself um but it got to a point that um when I'm stressed from other things in my life, this would get really out of control. And I know a part of it is somewhat defense mechanism-ish in that I am keeping myself busy to keep to not think about what's going on in my life, right? We do that. We avoid what's going on. We avoid the stressors. We avoid the negative things. We avoid things we don't want to talk about or think about. And that's what I was doing. And so in these times... I would go from working on one thing to literally before I go to bed, I'm now trying to complete 20 different things. No exaggeration, which is really bad and unhealthy. And I just was like, how do I keep ending up in this place? So uh, after it kept happening, one time I kind of just caught myself in the moment. I was like, how did you get here, Joy? Like, what have you been doing? Like, Two minutes ago, you didn't have anything to do, which is why you were doing the first thing. Now you have all this stuff. Where did all this stuff come from? And the biggest issue is that as I think of these things to do, some reason I get the idea I need to do them right now. And I don't know if that happens to you, but when you have stuff coming to your mind, you know, back to back to back, like rapid thoughts you kind of get this pressure like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. While you do may need to do them, you may not need to do them right now or even today. So back to my planner. Um, when I have the planner, I'm, I started to write down things as they come to me. 
I was not at the beginning because I've gotten way better now. At the beginning, I was not allowed to start on anything other than what I was doing without writing them down first. This was annoying in that I had to keep stopping what I was doing to write stuff because usually I would be stopping to go start something new. Um, and so now I was writing stuff. Um, but I would get to see all these things I need to do. At that point, you kind of get to see like, you don't need to do that today. You don't need to do that right now. You don't even need to do that this week. And things kind of slowed down for me. And at that point, I got to take control over my thoughts and the anxiety and the ideas by saying when they would get done. So it's not like I was sweeping under the rug and blow it out, like not think of it anymore. Like, oh, I'm not doing that. That's not important. No, because it did come to me, I do still want to do it. I'm just not going to put the stress on myself to do it right now, today, in this very moment in time. So with my planner, especially with that week view, since it came to me today, this week, I can say, okay, what do I need to do today? And put those things in for today. And then I'm going to say, oh, I don't have anything to do Thursday that I can think of right now. Today's Monday. I'm going to put that in to do Thursday. If it has a deadline, of course, I'll make it anytime before that deadline. Or if something's due Friday by 4, then if I don't have the time, I could schedule it Friday morning. It does not have time slots, but I'll write in there the times things are due and that has helped me tremendously because um I can breathe after I write it down because I know I'm still going to get it done because I refer to my planner every day I did I wasn't consistent at first because I'm not used to using a planner I actually used to pride myself in not having to write things down and so having to write stuff down kind of <laughs> hit my ego a little bit but then I was like I can't keep like unnecessarily stressing myself out. So that's what I started doing. Um, now I try to look at my planner every morning and every evening. I do plan stuff out in the morning or the day before I've gotten better where now like if I've done a lot today, anything that comes to my mind the rest of the time, I'm awake today. It now goes automatically for Tuesday um, or I'll put it. Um, so it has that week side and adjacent to it, similar to the month um, par portion of the planner. It also has the notes, priorities list and next week. So things that are not important, that are things I should just do when I have time. For example, deep cleaning cabinets. That is never really a priority. Just sometimes things I like to do. I always put that in my list category. So that means if I get a, get to a day where I I've done everything on my list and it's really early or I don't have anything to do or I have extra time. I now just look at that list thing, um, that list portion, and I said, oh, well, I can do that today. And then I'll write it in on that day. Again, Monday, I'll put it in Monday. That's what I'm doing. And I'll check it off my list section. Um, I always use the notes portion at the top for bills due that week with the date so I can make sure most of my bills are on auto drive, but my credit card payments are not um and that's only because i'm playing this credit game right now and so i do document um when that's coming out and that's a not necessarily a bad habit that's a habit from when i was budgeting really hard when i was getting out of debt i am going to make a video about how i got out of sixty one thousand dollars of debt in about three years um but writing all my bills down every month and tracking them as they were due really help hold myself accountable for how I was spending money. So I do still do that to an extent while using the planner. Um, it helps me stay on track financially as well as keep my thoughts organized. So, um, yeah, so I use the notes section for bill, upcoming bills, priorities and stuff that has deadlines, um, whether I have, um, to submit something for work by a certain day on a certain at a certain time, things of that nature, stuff that's like you got to do it this week. Um, just make sure it's done this week. Goals and priorities, and like I said, random thoughts that are not important go in the list section. And next week is I usually only use the next week section once it gets to like Friday. And if I'm like tired or burned out or exhausted, then it's like. I'm not doing that. I'm taking it easy this weekend. So I write it in the next week uh, box to, you know, help um, to just 
it's, it's not important. But the good thing about it is, you know, I'm saying like now, like it's not important. I'll just do it next week. Before the planner, today, Monday, I would have forced myself to try to make time to do that or at least have started it without finishing it and been stressed because, again, what would happen is I'll start one task, think of something else, start that task, think of something else, start that task over and over and over again throughout the day. So I have a lot of unfinished tasks. So now um, I've gone from stressed out about thinking of what I need to do. Now I'm stressed because I need to finish a lot of things and there's still other things I need to do that. I don't have time to do it because I need to finish all this stuff first and it will be a vicious cycle. Um, so if you struggle with anxiety, uh, many people do. It is very common um, that being organized can, you know, make it worse or make it better. Like I said, I've never been a pen and paper type of girl, scheduling list, things of that nature. But I've definitely found, especially since I'm not one of tends to usually suffer from anxiety that that has been the ultimate game changer is writing things down in my planner and controlling my ideas instead of letting my ideas and thoughts control me which is really the key to controlling anxiety in most areas of your life is taking authority of what you are thinking about and so when it comes to ideas of things to do writing them out and saying hey joy do not do that today because you have to do this today and you don't even need to worry about that for another six months. Like if you have the free time to do it, go ahead. But you are not going to force yourself to do it today. Put it on your planner under the list section. And when you get to it, you get to it until it becomes a priority. And that way, that way too, if anything comes up, because things happen, if something comes up that was unexpected or unplanned and now my day has shifted, I am not like, oh my gosh, but I still need to do this, this, is this. I can look at my plan and say, okay, I can move this. I still need to do this today, but I can move this to Tuesday, this to Wednesday, this to Thursday. This can probably wait till next week. Um, or, you know, depending on how the rest of the day goes, I'll see how it fits. Um, because before, I would just be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need to do this, 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 this. So having a planner... Um, has probably been one of the best things that's happened to me this year. And I know people are like, 2020 is canceled. Anything you put on your planner goes out the window now. I totally disagree because it's made me a lot more productive during the quarantine uh, than I could ever imagine. Um, but overall, it's helped reduce my anxiety tremendous, ter ter tremendously. So um, this video will have a part two. So you are going to see me in this same neon shirt. Um... And I'm going to go into further detail of how this planner has kept me mentally sane during the quarantine. Um, I'm not quarantined because I was never sick. But during the pandemic, when we were to stay at home under the stay at home order, even though here in Houston, Texas, we can technically go outside as of May 1st. But I'm not. <laughs> so, uh You'll see part two, and I'll also probably link it in the description so you can catch that one um, or view that one um, to see why I didn't throw my planner away, why I still use my planner, and how, I, how I've used it more now while being at home all day, every day. I've used it more now than I did prior. Prior, I only used my planner in the mornings during my meditation before I went to work early because I dropped my son off of school early. So I would take like an hour of meditation, reflection, pray, this is praise worship, and look over my planner, fill in my planner. This is what you need to do today. And I would also do that to schedule my work day for work. And I, I would kind of check stuff off throughout the day. But for the most part, I really wouldn't look back at it until the evening to see if there was anything else I needed to do once I got home or anything like that. Um, but my planner has so much more writing now than it did um prior to march um for sure um and i'm grateful for it and it has been a blessing so i want to share that with you guys but i don't like my videos to be long and i don't edit them um because i don't want them to be perfect because i'm not perfect that's just my thing so that video is coming to you soon